at the latest NATO meeting in Brussels. Today, allies have agreed to move forward with planning for a great NATO role in coordinating security assistance and training. The details will take shape in the weeks to come. But make no mistake, Ukraine can rely on NATO support now and for a long haul. Secretary General Jan Stoltenberg proposed a fund of $107 billion over five years. In the meantime, NATO's military support has been crucial. A year ago, NATO members Poland and Slovakia transferred the majority of their MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine. Colonel Yevhen Bulacic, the veteran commander of the Air Force's 7th Tactical Aviation Brigade, says Western supplies have allowed them to modernize their aging fleet. What our Western partners provided has been put to effective use. These weapons offer a longer range and are far more accurate and efficient than the Soviet models. We hope that the combination of both gives us a fighting chance for survival and perhaps even victory. Once Ukrainian jets are adopted to carry Western weapons systems, they become an effective platform for striking targets. Colonel Bulacic emphasized the need for more ammunition and expressed hope for the swift arrival of F-16 planes in Ukraine. The integration of Western aircraft capabilities with our existing fleet will provide us with enhanced opportunities for effective countermeasures against the Russian Federation's air forces. Veteran pilot Andriy, who prefers not to disclose his last name for security reasons, was a civilian pilot before the war. He made his final flight on an Airbus only four days before the full-scale invasion. Now he flies military missions daily. The vast majority of our flights today is uh, flight for using cruise missiles uh, like Storm Shadow, SCALPG, and actually we are looking for towers. Yeah, because it's uh, more useful, it's a modern, precise weapon that help us to, to strike the more precious, more valuable targets of our enemy. Both the pilot and commander expressed confidence that with NATO military supplies, they will be able to alter the situation on the front line. We need all kinds of assistance, weapons, finances, and ammunition. Some can offer weapons directly, while others can provide financial aid. We require everything urgently. We're not seeking handouts. We're willing to take loans. Ukrainians are honest and hardworking. We will repay every debt. NATO has declared that the doors for Ukraine to become a member are open, but stops short of issuing an invitation to join at this time. Мирослава Конгадзе, Віоя Ньюс, Старо Костянтинів, Україн.